any of you guys can tell me what this is called, obviously not the chocolate form, I'd be very impressed and happy with you. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Daddy Goose from Cruiser Black Gaming. If you guys are from Cruiser Black Gaming, you decided to come over to check out my solo metal reaction series. Thank you guys so much for checking the channel today. Or if you guys are from the web, you decided to click on this kick ass thumbnail. Thank you so much for checking out today's episode. Or, of course, if you guys are a subscriber, you're part of, I think, of like the 1.95 thousand subscribers. Thank you guys for checking out today's episode because today we have ourselves a good one. This band, October Ends. I don't know where this band came from. I've never heard of them before. Never seen them on my thumbnails. Never seen them in the comment sections. Until about maybe a month ago. Holy fuck, you guys have been blowing up the comment sections with this fucking band. And more specifically, this song called Dark. Uh, I think out of all of the comments, I think all of them were this song. Except for maybe one other comment. There was one other song. Uh, so, I'm really excited. It does feel a bit overhyped, so I'm kind of nervous it's not going to be good. But, with everyone's hype over it, I'm assuming it is. I'm just going to feel like a complete asshole if I don't like it. Um, apologies in advance as well. Hopefully I don't sound like I have a stuffy nose. I'm fucking got a cold. So, uh, let's hope my fucking nose doesn't run during this reaction and fucking ruin the whole mood. Uh, but with that being said, let's go on to today's reaction. October ends dark. I'm fucking nervous for this one, gonna be honest. Early pause? Oh, I was not expecting cleans there, let alone talking. I... I don't know, I was expecting this to be death metal. Right off that riff and with the band called October, I was expecting death metal. Uh, I'm gonna restart simply to get me in a different mood now. Alright. <laughs> With that riff, how could you not? A disguise and pretend that I work out. I use mild paint to cover my breakdowns. Distracting myself over the fact that my life at the moment was a massive fuck up. In the daylight, I hope my feelings be hurt. Wow, okay, that's gonna be the tone. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect because he's kind of doing like it's kind of mumble talking, which I wasn't really a fan of at the start. But then the course kicks in, he's got a fucking awesome voice. Okay, kind of reminds me of bad omens, not like the heavy side of things like the throne, but kind of like uh what were the two fucking songs we reacted to? Death of Peace of Mind, or what was the other one? I don't know. You can check it on the channel. I forget the name of it. But it kind of reminded me of that. Uh, I really like his voice. Holy fuck. All right, let's keep going. I hope he sings more. Well, he's always going to fucking sing more. Dark mode enabled. Lost in the dark. 
how do I feel about that? That, I paused immediately because my brain didn't like how that went into that. That was very odd. I already, I buckled up. You guys fucking saw it. I pre-buckled up. I thought the breakdown was going to go way harder. And it didn't go that hard. And then the riff was very weird and hard to keep track of. Uh, hard to headbang to. And then it went into the chorus very awkwardly. And it's just not what my brain had pictured was going to happen next. Like I said, I fucking love the chorus. I really, really like this guy's voice. I'm not sure who it reminds me of, but it's it's just very crisp and clean and very singable. I really, really like it. Uh, but right there, going into it there was very odd. I don't know. Maybe I'll back up and try listening to it again. But it definitely came off weird there. should go to the chorus. I don't know why. Right, October ends uh, with Dark. Really good song. I really like that chorus. Very powerful voice. Awesome voice, in fact. Uh, but at the end there, even re-listening to it, it felt like that shouldn't have gone into a chorus. It felt like it should have gone into like a weird, dark talking part, which is odd. But that's like kind of what my brain had filled in for that part. And it felt like they didn't know what to do with that part. So they just went into the chorus and then the song ended. I felt like they could have had a little longer part and then finish with the chorus. Um, and yeah, like I said, even that second time through, it felt kind of weird. Uh, other than that, though, really good song. Like the riff. The breakdown could have came in a little harder. And like I said, I kind of already said this already, but uh, weird beat changing on that riff, too. Uh, but overall standpoint, really, really good. First song I've ever heard by October Ends. I really, really like it. Uh, I'm excited to see what else they have to offer. First, first song by them, just going off voice alone. Like I said, really like his voice, and I really like that song because of that too. So I'm excited to see what else they have. But this song, 0 out of 100, I don't know if it quite cracks the 80 because of those, with the weird breakdown riff, and that chorus it just fell off. I don't know. Uh, but other than that, still really good. So I'm going to give that... 78.5 maybe even a i'll give it a 79 i'll give it a 79 almost breaking that 80 but just not quite but that might change after i listen to it a couple more times because i'm definitely going to come back to this song and then maybe once i know it a little more it might bump up into the 80s which it probably will but first time around not knowing the lyrics and stuff like that i'm gonna give it that 79 uh without with that being said let's move on to the next one the only other song recommendation shout to the one person who recommended this song or otherwise it's probably going to be a solo uh song reaction so uh let's move on to that all right up next as you guys were able to tell by the thumbnail and title up next we have october ends playtime like i said literally out of let's say 20 comments for this band they were all for dark except for one comment said dark slash playtime uh so here we are i'm excited to hear this song because this is a song that's not overhyped or like overhyped or over suggested it's a one-off so i'm excited to see if like maybe dark is like their one-hit wonder i have no idea but i'm really excited to check it out because of that so with that being said let's get it october ends playtime it's shit no it's... i don't know if i said that let's, let's go <laughs> i'm a fucking moron That 
that's a cursed ass bedroom right there. The bed in the middle of the fucking room. It's rather he's mumble talking or that's not English. And if he is speaking English right now, that's really bad. Uh, like the the sound of the voice sounds okay, but me not being able to understand it's not great. I don't know if that's English, straight up. Maybe leave a comment down below. If it's English, I'm gonna feel like a real piece of shit. Uh, like I said, like the sound of the voice that's coming out, but I don't know what he's saying. I just wanna die. It's English. Okay, I'm dumb. I, I heard the next two sentences directly after, so ignore what I just said. Wow, was the start really that hard to hear? I kind of want to re-listen to that again. I gotta really focus on this part. I I don't I don't know. 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 This song, there's just something not clicking with it, and I don't know what it is. I feel like I should be liking it, but there's just something about it that just isn't feeling right. And I love his voice. i still not a big fan of his mumble talking at the start there. That, to me, I don't know. Same with, like, mumble rap. Like, when we're talking rap genre, not a big fan of mumble rap, and that's probably why I don't like that part either. His, his, his voice is so good. Like, I don't know why he's doing the mumble talking at all. Like... His voice is so, so good. I love the sound of it. Um, and I don't know if it's the riff or the... I'm not sure. There's just, some, there's just something not quite clicking with it. Uh, maybe we'll have a turnaround point. I'm not saying it's a bad song. I'm still enjoying it. Uh, but there's just something not quite there that's making me love it, if that makes sense. I really like it, just not loving it. Uh, but we're only halfway through the song, so lots of time to change. Let's keep going. Show a show in the day when I feel fine It's getting too dark, shit, I think it's nearly later Yeah. 
Oh, is that it? <clears throat> it's like... Is that it, or is this part of it? I was gonna say, there's like 46 seconds left, but now it's doing a piano. I feel like this isn't part of it, but let me know. Let me know down below. I feel like this is just credit stuff. There was someone as Satan in that? What the, what the fuck? There was someone as... Where the fuck was that? <laughs> it just said a Satan at the end. Where the fuck was... Who was Satan there? Alright. Uh, what the fuck? Um, okay, so here's the thing. If that last piano part was part of the song... Really bad ending. If it's not part of the song and it was part of the credits... Okay, that's fine. But still, even then, a little weird ending. Because... I felt like it was should have done a weird. I felt like there was a breakdown coming, and they even went like with a black screen, and they just felt like they hit with the normal chorus riff almost, but then it wasn't, and it was very odd. Uh, I feel like some of their riff choices are just maybe that's what it is. Some of their riff choices are weird. Um, I don't know. What are your guys' thought on that ending there? Like, did it feel like it should have ended with those riff, like two little riff parts, or going to something else? Um, Overall, though, I like the band. I, I actually do like the band overall. I really like his voice. And I like... This is one of those bands where they're going to have one song for me that is in the 90s. Like, it's just one... It's like... It's like, um... Oh, what the fuck? Spirit Box. I like most of their songs. But then there's one song that I'm just in love with. And that just happens to be Blessed Be. I fucking love that song. Same with Cellar Door. Also really good. Uh, and that, I feel like, it's going to be October Ends for me. I feel like most of their stuff is going to be really good. But there's going to be one song that's just going to really click because it has all the right makings for it. I just don't think this song was it. Dark was obviously good. I just don't think this song was quite it. Still going to be a fairly good grade, 0 out of 100. I'm going to put it at a 70 flat. Uh, I don't think this deserves a in the 60 ratings at all. I think it has overall pretty good stuff. Just some weird parts. I don't like the mumble talking. Lily, that one part didn't sound like English at all. Like, straight up. I st second time through, I couldn't understand it. Um, but then his, his, his cleans are so, so good. But then it just feels like their riffs make weird changes. And then when they come in hard, they don't come in quite hard enough. And it's, like, very weird. But like I said, overall, as a band, and the song, still good. And I'm really excited to come back to October Ends. I think there's going to be a really good song by them that I'm going to, you know, just click with. Um, with that being said, let's move on to today's outro. All right, October ends. Hopefully, that was semi-close to the reaction you guys were hoping for. I know you guys have been wanting this for a really long time. Uh, so hopefully, I liked it as much as you guys hoped I did. I still liked it. I mean, I gave that first song an 80. Seconds, or or 79, I think. Sorry, my bad. Fuck, my bad. Just fucking gaslighted you. 79, so almost in that 80 mark. Still a really good song. And the second one's still in the 70s. So both songs making it fairly high up in the ranking scales. I'm very, very curious on what else they have. My only fear with these guys is genuinely, you guys only recommended one song. So I'm scared that the rest of their songs suck. Um, but with Playtime, it was decent. Wasn't, you know, fucking top tier, but it was, it was pretty decent. I'm definitely going to listen to it again. Uh, but very interesting on their sound and more songs. Uh, with that being said, I hope to see you guys in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode and the episodes to come. But if you guys made it this far into the episode, you know what time it is. It's the secret outro word of the day, which means when I say this word, you can comment it down below, and you might confuse a few people, but I'll know what you're talking about. You'll know what you're talking about. I'll have this cool little thing going on, and that's pretty goddamn cool. Uh, and it just shows me you guys are watching all the way to the outros, and it shows me that you know how to spell, which is also equally pretty cool. Uh, secret outro word of the day. Let's do waffles. Why not? First thing that came to mind. So you comment waffles down below. I'll know you're a real one, and you can spell real good. Uh, with that being said, though, have a good night, everybody. Daddy Goose out.